Are you an ultra runner, long distance runner? Maybe you're trying to achieve a few more marathons this year, or even looking at an Ironman, but wondering what are some really great stretches that you can do? Hey everyone, I'm Dr. Heather, and that's exactly what we're gonna talk about today. This is my ultimate stretches for marathon, long distance, ultra runners, because guess what? If we wanna go ahead and succeed in these events, which are really taxing to the body, we wanna make sure that our bodies are better prepped by utilizing flexibility and mobility, which is something that I always address. Now, a lot of my runners who take on these really long events will always say, hey doc, you can't, am I really not supposed to be doing that much running up to the event um, just to focus on my stretching? Well, yes, if you wanna have your muscles really working to your best advantage, you're gonna wanna really make sure that you're taking the steps necessary to help increase flexibility and mobility as a means for injury prevention, but also too to make sure that those muscles really can handle and withstand the duration of that event. So what I've gone ahead and done is created some stretches that are really meant for those types of individuals, for my ultra runners, for my marathon runners, even my half marathon runners. So what we're gonna do, a majority of these don't require any equipment. They're just gonna require like a high counter surface, but there are a few that do require a TRS. So we're gonna first start with a hamstring stretch. You wanna pick an object that is up to the height of your hip. Everybody's a little different. So I'm gonna use my Rogue box just because uh, it is of that height. And what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna show you using my right leg first. Um, we're gonna put the foot up, up onto the, um, to the box. You could use a kitchen table, counter surface. We're gonna go ahead and make sure our body is nice and square up to the um, object in front of us. You're gonna also wanna make sure that the foot on the ground, also too, the toes are facing in, that we're not rotating or opening up the body when we do this. From the start, we're gonna go ahead, flex the toes towards you, allow for the calf to engage, the hamstring to engage. We're gonna lift our chest up nice and high. First, you're gonna come bring the hand down, pull the toes towards you. But again, notice that I don't open or rotate my body. I keep everything nice and facing forward. Then I'm gonna stack my arms again, allowing for a bigger stretch to happen. I'm not really trying to round the back. I am trying to kind of a little bit more hinge forward at my hips, okay? To allow for a fuller stretch to happen. And you could take five nice deep breaths in and then just hold from there. The next one we're gonna do is we're gonna actually go ahead, we're gonna open up the body, okay? So now notice that I allow the foot to rest flat. If you're used to having a lot of turnout, you're gonna see that possibly the foot is gonna to wanna to try to stay up. So it's gonna be very difficult just to kind of go ahead and let that foot rest flat. Now I'm going ahead and I'm in a nice upright posture. I'm also not allowing for my hips um, to kind of be in this hinge position, nor am I sticking my butt out but I'm allowing for myself to come up nice and tall. From here, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna bend this leg, okay? So I'm bending my left leg, allowing for more of a groin stretch to happen here, okay? So we've done our hamstring, now we're getting into more adductors, into the groin as well. And we're just holding, taking five deep breaths. Now the next one what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in and we are gonna target your piriformis. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in close and tight to the box. I'm gonna lay my leg up uh, nice and flat onto the box. Again, my bottom foot facing forward. My chest is up nice and tall. And from here, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hold this position. And if it's really tight, just hold. If you feel like you can, you're gonna go ahead, you're gonna lean forward, maintaining that chest out nice and tall. And you're just gonna kind of walk those hands forward and again allowing for a more deeper stretch to happen okay so the next set we're going to do is going to be designed around our hip flexors a little bit more so what we're going to do is we're going to do first taking a knee position okay so we're going to come down onto the ground i'm going to show you guys uh, just facing a little bit sideways just so you can see a little bit better i'm in a taking the knee position my front leg is at 90. From here, if my hip flexors are really tight, I should be able to feel a little bit of a pull. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring my arms up nice and tall as if I was doing a sun salutation, 
We're gonna reach up nice and tall to the sky, and I'm just gonna hold here. And I'm just gonna breathe into it. And again, what I'm trying to do is really allow for the hips to push forward as if I was arching the back a little bit more. And I'm gonna kind of come up, deep breath in, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop my right arm down, reach up, and I'm gonna take it over to the right side of my body. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back up, bring my arms up nice and tall, arch a little bit again, now bring the arm to the inside, pressing out onto the leg a little bit, coming up and taking it over again, trying to get into that hip flexor stretch. And then from here, I'm gonna collapse the hands down onto the ground, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna extend the leg behind me, and I'm gonna hit what's called like a lizard position. So from here, if I can, I'm gonna try to now come down onto the forearms, and I'm gonna really go ahead and feel a nice stretch into my groin, into my adductors, as well as trying to stretch out my hip flexor as well. Now the next set of stretches that I'm gonna show are actually in another video too, designed around stretches for athletes. This is a much more active type of stretch and it does involve a lot of core engagement. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be in a plank position on, on outstretched arms. So if you do have weak wrists, you may wanna put an object like push-up bars or your dumbbells if they're hexagons, just to allow for the wrist to not feel overtasked in this position. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down onto the ground. We're gonna go ahead, be in our plank position. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on driving the knee in towards the chest and back out, really hiking it up in and back out. You, the whole objective here is to really go nice and slow and controlled as we really drive that knee in towards the chest, maintaining a nice tight plank position. The second part is you're gonna now bring the knee in towards the elbow, I'm sorry, towards the uh, forearm more. So I'm coming in towards the forearm and back. Again, really fully engaging the obliques in this position and engaging hip flexion. The final piece is where now you're gonna bring the leg through, stick the leg out and allow for it to drag back, coming up, really stick that leg through, hitting that TFL, hitting that IT band, bringing the hip down, coming back into that position. So here it is again, taking that leg here, dragging it back and taking it here and dragging it back. You can go ahead and do that one each one of these you can do 10 times to each side, now allowing for you to really start stretching out and opening up those hips. Now, the next set of stuff we're gonna do involves a TRX. So like I mentioned, if you have a TRX, these are some really great stretches you can do before your event to really help open up the body even more. So the first thing we're gonna start with is actually a golf swing. So we're gonna come in to our straps, feet shoulder width apart, we're gonna hinge our hips back just a little bit. We're gonna go ahead, keep our eye focused down. We're gonna open up to one side of the body, allowing now for also our scapular area to really get stretched out along with our low back. We're gonna do this 10 times with our eyes down. And then from there, we're gonna take it, we're now where we look and we open it up and really try to stretch out a little bit more in this position for 10 times. So going ahead, really opening up that body a little further. So first is your golf swing. Next, we're gonna focus on your hip hinge. So for here, we're gonna come standing up nice and tall. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna hinge at the hips, allowing for ourselves to really kind of come in what's known as like a straight leg deadlift position, allowing for that left leg to fully stretch out into a hamstring stretch. Also too, starting to activate a little bit more of the paraspinal muscles as well. So golf swing, then hip hinge. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it into a side lunge. So we're gonna come, we're gonna open up our stance a little bit more. I'm gonna get myself a little bit more centered. From here, I'm gonna fall back first. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rock to one side, allowing for the foot to come up, flex the toes towards me, and then going ahead and just bouncing essentially from one side to the other, and really allowing for the calf, the groin, the inner thigh, everything just to get nice and stretched out in this position. Now, another stretch that you could do as well to really help stretch out the low back involves also kind of stretching out the upper back at the same time. We're gonna go ahead, bring our arms up nice and tall. 
first part is you're just gonna fall to here and allow for those arms to come up towards those ears, kind of activating our, tra uh, our traps a little bit. But then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up, but now we're gonna hinge all the way. We're gonna really allow for our body just to fall. And then we're gonna allow for ourselves to rotate to one side, really stretching out our um, shoulder blade, getting down a little bit more into that low back region and stretching out a little further and then popping yourself right back up. So here it is again, come down, hinge, allow for that big stretch and then go ahead, rotate to one side, rotate to the other side and then fully coming back up. Now the next one is going to be actually stepping out in front and this one is mimicking what we kind of just did on the floor for the hip flexors. So I'm gonna go ahead, arms are straight out in front, big step forward, hold that position. From here, I'm gonna drop my right arm, reaching up nice and tall, and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna lean over to my right side of the body, bringing the arms back up, pressing into the straps and coming back up nice and tall. Here it is again, big step out, drop the arms, reaching up, and then coming over and then coming right back. The next ones you could do involve us actually getting down on the ground a bit. We're gonna take our straps, make sure that they're actually gonna be more at mid calf height. We're gonna come down, we're gonna take a knee position. So I'm gonna come down onto the ground. I'm gonna put the straps through one foot and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna turn myself over. From here, I'm gonna go ahead and now bring my left leg out in that taking of a knee position, allowing for even more of a massive stretch in my hip flexor. My knee is at 90 and from here, I'm gonna reach up with my arms. If I can lean back and grab onto the straps, great. Um, I don't have that great of back mobility, so that will not happen for me. But you're gonna go ahead, bring those arms up nice and tall and repeat exactly what we did on the floor. We're now gonna kind of come over to the left side, come back, and then I'm gonna reach up again, bring the arm inside, come over, then come back. Now I'm gonna collapse, placing the hands onto the floor, and I'm gonna hit that lizard position here on outstretched arm, fully stretching out the body. Then I would wanna go ahead and switch to the other side, and then I would repeat that one three times to each side. So there you have it. Those are some of my favorite stretches that I like to go through with my ultra runners, my marathon runners, and my long distance runners. They've all proven to really help open up the hips, really start to get those muscles firing much better because now other muscle groups are not overstimulated, they're not over engaging. So those are just a few of my favorite ones. If you have specific questions regarding maybe certain things that you're prepping for, struggling with, drop some comments down below. Happy to help all of my runners out. Like always, this is Dr. Heather. Like always, I hope you guys found some value in this video. If you have, hit the like button. And as always, please do go ahead and subscribe to the channel. There's a lot of great content on here that I keep putting out based upon what I get back from you guys, my community. So as always, this is Dr. Heather and I'll see you in the next video.